What's your thoughts on taking a uh, setback or maybe a step back? But yeah, setback to focus on your business and make half of your nine to five. Why can't you still work your nine to five, come home for two hours and then put in four hours for your business? Or does your business operate during working hours or whatever? Because I'm telling you, if you're running your own business, listen, to be successful in this world, you're going to have to be doing the 14 hour days. I'm sorry I had to break the uncomfortable truth to you lot. Yeah. You don't, don't think yeah, you're going to go from doing a nine to five, yeah, which is um, an eight hour day. Don't think you're going to be able to do four hours worth of normal work and then put the rest in. No, motherfucker, you're going to have to do the nine to five and come back and then do four hours on your business. I mean, yeah, if you, if you truly believe that, um, yeah, then yeah, maybe scale it back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels, the goal. Yeah, my man said, oh no, where's that comment? The comments have disappeared. Kevin, Kevin Samuels said, if you're broke, you should be working minimum 60 to 80 hours a week. You damn right. What, what else are you doing? There's a lot of people right now, yeah, who claim they're busy, they're busy, they're busy, but they're broke. So you're doing a lot of nothing. Yeah. If you're broke, you should have 24 hours in a day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How can you be busy and broke at the same time? To me, you're doing a lot of nothing. Yeah? If you're broke, you should be doing 68 hours a week. Because you've made some mistakes in your life. So therefore, you're going to have to make up for those mistakes.